Okay, this is your phase change of water lab. In front of you is a hot plate. I'm going to put a flask of ice on it. Um, you should have your counter on the screen. I'm going to put the flask on when we get to 30 seconds. And every 30 seconds, you need to record the temperature in your data table. Okay, 6, 27, 28, 29. So at 30 seconds, that's going to be your zero mark. Okay. So the temperature started out, I believe, at negative 5 degrees Celsius. And every 30 seconds on the timer, you need to record the temperature you see on that thermometer in your data table. Okay, when it's all done, then you can make a phase change graph and see what happens with your data. See the trends in your data. So you're at 35 degrees Celsius. It looks like the ice is completely melted. And nothing much is happening yet. Oh, besides the ice melting, of course. The temperature is at 82 now, and there's some teeny tiny little bubbles starting to rise up from the bottom of the water. And you can hear it too. Okay, it's 100 degrees, well, 99.9. .9. Hopefully it'll go back to 100. Oh, there it goes. And it is definitely boiling completely. So those big bubbles coming up from the bottom, that is boiling.
trying to trap the steam a little bit more so that we can accurately measure the temperature of that steam that's inside the flask. Do not let it all escape. Hmm, now it's coming out the front and the back. This part's a little bit tricky because the steam does escape, but hopefully we're trapping enough of it in there that we'll be able to get a fairly accurate measurement of the temperature of that steam. Okay, so the beaker has just a little bit of water left. Um, let's say maybe an eighth of what it started with. A little bit of steam is escaping from the top, but hopefully we are kind of accurately measuring the temperature of the air that's in that beaker. Of course, as soon as I say that, it looks like more steam is coming out of the back. I'm going to try again to tighten that up. happens when the rest of that water boils away.
Look at the water. It's just about gone. The last little bit is now evaporating from the bottom with those bubbles. And now the sound stops. So the water's all gone. The hot plate's still on. It's heating the air now that's inside that flask. And let's see what happens here. So some, when some of that water is condensing up in the neck of the flask and then rolling down the inside, you can see like that piece right in the front, that drip in the front is boiling away from the side of the flask. Keep recording your temperatures in your data table. Temperature is going up pretty fast now, isn't it? Up, oh, it hit 150, which is where the thermometer stops. Okay, so I'll turn this off, and you guys can take a look at your data and um, and plot it on your graph.